Hi everybody, this is Alexander and in today's video I'm going to show you how to launch a docker container inside another docker container. Though you might wonder what is the necessity to do so, uh, whereas you can just bind mount uh, docker daemon socket from host to the guest. However, there are a lot of cases uh, when you need to launch exactly one docker container inside another docker container. For example, you have some complicated building pipeline and you generate enormous amount of intermediary containers. And when you finish your work on this uh, super duper container, you want to remove all the linked intermediary containers at once. You can of course use docker container purge, but it will remove all uh, the stopped containers. And you can also employ some complicated scripting system in order to delete all the containers you need. But this approach is prone to mistakes and uh, you don't have to do that. There is a much simpler way to manage all your intermediary containers. You can just run docker inside a docker exactly. Uh, as it sounds. So, first of all, uh, you need to know that uh, there is already one way to do so. Uh, it is a very convoluted way and if you're interested, you can watch my previous video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to launch a docker container inside a docker container the most straightforward way. Uh, I created this project, DND, which stands for Docker Inside Docker, uh, the working solution. So let's launch this uh, container. There is a code snippet. Let's copy it and paste into some text editor so we can uh, amend uh, port IDs we want to map. Uh, let's open it in, in uh, Sublime. So um, we are going to bind basically two ports. Uh, we need to specify all the ports we our child containers might need. Uh, it is uh, might be uh, slightly inconvenient, but I'm working hard in order to fix it in the future releases of DND. So uh, stay tuned. You can all, any contributions um, are also very welcome. So let's bind uh, port eighty from host to port uh, eighty eighty on the. Uh, container and uh, let's bind port uh, let's bind port 33 3306 to port 3306 yes now let's copy this code and now let's go to our uh, terminal. So here we go. Let's copy paste. Uh, yes, I believe I should have done this thing first to put slashes so that console would treat it this uh, multi-line command as a single command. Yes, let's run it and see what will happen. Yeah, we were taken into uh, bash console inside a container we just ran. So uh, now as we inside docker container running inside docker container, we can do uh, the next thing. We are going to run, uh, we are going to run MySQL database inside our container, inside our inner container. Uh, so uh, let's copy 
paste uh, let's copy this code it says docker run name mysql minus e mysql root password let's set it to some very simple password and please don't do it in production by the way uh, let's run it in uh, as in detached mode and let's do this uh, mapping so to co6 from uh, our parrot container to 33 06 to in our inner container let's just run it let's copy paste and run it will fetch uh, mysql image from docker hub and then run it this process might take some time as images as database images are usually heavy but nonetheless, the whole process isn't going to take uh, longer than two minutes. So uh, let's have waited up for it. It shouldn't take long. Now, sometimes it can be tedious to wait. It depends on your internet connection. Uh, it can also depend on the bandwidth uh, of uh, Docker Hub, uh, on the load they might experience at that particular moment, and on many other factors. Yeah, uh, our database uh, has been launched and now let's try to connect to it. So first of all, uh, let's go to this tool. Uh, it is called dBeaver. It is a database viewer. You can use this tool to view and uh, manipulate to some degree with almost any database. So now let's try to connect to our database we just instantiated. So let's create uh, let's create new connection. We are going to connect to MySQL 8 plus MySQL 8 plus this MySQL 8 plus we are going to connect to localhost. We are going to use port 3306. We are going to connect as a root user and we are going to provide the password we specified in the uh, MySQL root password environment variable, which is just password. Pass, let's enter it, password. And I remind you, never ever use this approach in production. You should come up with some complicated uh, password but for this tutorial it is okay to use this password so let's try let's test our connection it says that public key retrieval is not allowed uh, we need to set this uh, flag to true and then it is going to work so yes let's say it let's set it to yes uh, let's now test our connection not that I'm constant something strange allow allow public key retrieval uh, I'm going to press finish and I'm going to open it yeah the connection has been established and we can see uh, all the tables we have in our uh, database so we just successfully connected to a database running inside a docker container which is running inside a docker container how amazing is it huh and to make things a little bit more exciting and to make our example a little bit more complicated let let's also run uh, some another container uh, which is going to be a sibling container to our database uh, container i have uh, 
I have prepared uh, some uh, very simple Docker container, uh, which is basically a Node.js uh, server, which uh, serves Hello World string whenever you uh, try to access this server via HTTP. Uh, this uh, repo is called Hello World Node.js server. So let's copy this code snippet and go to our console. Let's paste it and see what will happen. Yes, our container with Node.js has started and now we can go to another tab and check localhost. Yes, you see, our local host returns hello world. So let's see how many containers we have running at the same time in inside our inner Docker container. So yes, we have MySQL and we have hello world Node.js server. All these containers are running inside another Docker container. Uh, let's go to another tab and see how many co running containers we have on the topmost level. Yeah, we only have D and D container running on the topmost level. Think about it, how amazing is it, huh? Uh, there are many applications of this solution. Uh, the most straightforward uh, way, the first thing that comes into my mind is that you can use it to uh, make some complicated building pipeline with uh, some intermediary containers being built uh, in this process and then when you don't need these intermediary containers anymore you can dispose them uh, by simply stopping uh, container so uh, I'm going to stop uh, this Docker and Docker container to dispose MySQL and uh, Hello World Node.js server all at the same time. So I'm going to type Docker stop and let's see what will happen. Let's go back to another tab. Yeah, our container has been stopped and all the other containers running in it uh, have also been disposed so yeah um, that's it for this tutorial stay tuned please subscribe to my youtube channel and i'm going to publish a lot of new stuff very soon and bye bye for now